Hi everyone, this is uh, Bagadon, Stock Market Caddy. It is Monday the 16th at about 5.16. And we're making this video primarily for our members, but we are going to upload this portion of um, the video they're getting tonight. They get a video every night on the market that will take a look at the market and, and a number of different um, angles and um, perspectives so that they can take full advantage of um, the opportunities. But this portion of um, the video, we're going, we will try to keep this well under 10 minutes and upload this as a sampling as to how we approach the markets. And we're gonna do something called, that we call handicap, handicapping. Just like golf, we're gonna handicap this market. Now, some people may call it the breadth of the market. They wanna, they may use stochastics. They may use the McClellan oscillator to try to determine whether or not the market is extended up or down. And if you've used any of those tools, you will probably find out in very short order, they can, they can get you into a lot of trouble because they will only tell you after you're in the market short that a market that is overbought can stay overbought <laughs> and you say like well for how long well for a long time a lot of times more than you have money to remain solvent or a market can stay down well beyond the time that you can stay solvent there too or take the pain and that stochastic will drag along the bottom or crawl along the top so we need something a hell of a lot more specific than that and we need something that is objective, consistent, and precise, and something that we can measure over time. So let me show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna minimize this for a moment. We'll come back to it. And we're gonna come to this tool that we call the putting and call machine, or it could be the put and call machine. We really should, you know, but, you know, staying with the, the uh, similarities to golf, we call it the putting and call machine, but a lot of times it's where we get our opportunities to um, trade our options. What does this show? This is a 5 EMA, 10 EMA, 20 EMA, 50 EMA, and the 200 EMA. EMA being the exponential moving average. Now we don't, as a rule of thumb, trade moving averages, but we know that the sheep out there do. They love their moving averages. I don't know why, but they do. Because if you trade moving averages, your performance at best, and that's my calico cat. Come on, Gracie, get off my desk. <laughs> she is a money cat, and she wanted to press the macro key. But um, they will only at best give you, you know, average performance at best. But what we've done is to write a program, very simple program, that'll tell us what percent, here's the S&P stocks, and it's also the market, the S&P 500, what percentage over their five-day moving average are they? So let me show you. So what this means is, if you were to go to a, a chart on a daily basis, FTI, which is TECNIP, I don't even know what that is, but FTI, is 11.01% over its five-day average. Okay, So sometimes that can tell us what might be moving very, very quickly, and we might use it as a glance. Today, we're going to do something different, and we're going to show you. Scroll with me, and we're going to come down, and I want to see, and in the S&P 500, we have some of the, the indices up here. I tell you what, just to make this simple, let's um, remove, I'm sorry, Let's remove this so we can have a clear count. It'll be easier. You'll see in a moment what we're up to. Okay, so the label row is one, so we're starting at two. Now we're gonna scroll down and I want to see how many of the S&P 500 stocks are over their five-day average. 439, but we got to take one out for the labor roll. So 438 are over their five-day average. So we're going to come back to our little, and we're going to, our little um, spreadsheet, and put in 438. 
86% of the stocks in the S&P are over their five-day average. Okay, that's fine. How about the 10-day? And let's see if we've got that sorted right. I th think we, now we got it backwards. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make you dizzy. So let's sort the 10-day and now let's come down on the 10-day and let's just get, we're not going to analyze each stock here. We're just trying to, that's 445. So 445 stocks are over their 10-day. Kind of interesting. And let's minimize. I think you get the idea of where we're going with this, right? And we can stay right here. Oh, that should have been 444. I'm sorry. So we could be off by one. But so 435 because of the label row are over there 20 day. So 435, right? Yep. So let's uh, pull up our spreadsheet. Let's adjust this one to 444. Next one is 435. And let's minimize. And how about the 50? The 50 day. 438, take out the label row, 437 are over there. 50 day. 437. Pretty good, huh? Pretty strong market. But we're not done. And that's 429. Take out the label row. That would be 428. Oops. I'm sorry about that. So we'll come here. 428. 86.59% of this market is completely over. It's 5-day, 10-day, 20-day, 50-day, 200-day. This market is extremely extended. <laughs> That's the only way to put it. As a rule of thumb and as a barometer of our handicap, when we get over 70, 72, 73, 74, we know the market is really, it's strong. Yes, it's strong, but it is late cycle for this move meaning if you're in this market congratulations you have, you've had a hell of a run on this rally let's say on this rally right since our first our signal was on November 3rd so if you've got this run up now is the time you don't have to necessarily run out but boy, you want to be thinking about taking profits, taking a little bit of money off the table, maybe getting some protection on. It doesn't mean to rush out and short this because we may get even more extended. We know what that's all about. Do you want to initiate new positions because you see the market going up every day, every day, bag, it's going up, it's going up. I can't stand it anymore. I need to get in this market. No, you don't. With the market 86, 87% over all of its average, you are late, my friend. <laughs> now is not the time. Well, when is the time, bagger? Well, you know, there are times, and there have been times this year, like back in like February when we had the hard sell-off, that less than 10% of the market was over its averages. And guess what? Nobody wanted to buy. Nobody except us. I'm bagging on at stockmarketcaddy.com. This is just one of the objective, consistent ways that we can look at these markets to get a good handle on where we are. We call it, you know, being able to see the field. When a golfer approaches a golf hole, a good golfer, he will stand behind the tee box and he will take in the entire hole the fairway, the rough, where the bunkers are, where the green is, what's in front of the green, where is the pen. He wants to see the entire hole. He wants to be able to see the field. This field, my friend, is just about done. Now is not the time to be initiating, initiating long positions.
I'm Bagadon, Stock Market Caddy. Thanks.